Hey everybody, glad you could join me today. My name is Jerry. I want to talk about the 2017 Suzuki GSX-R 1000R recall. Some of you remember there was a recall back in 2017. It might have been early 2018, somewhere around there. And, you know, Suzuki asked me to participate personally in the shakedown of this motorcycle, which I did, and figure out what's going on with this motorcycle back then. And that was back in uh, November, I think, of 2017. And then the recall came out, I think, a little bit later, December or January. I think it was January 2018. They started sending the recalls out, okay? Some of you might have got them later than that, but that's basically when they started. Now, the official recall was um, if, the, if the, the, the chain could break. It, let me just read to you what they said, because I really want to talk about this. Because back then, you know, I really couldn't talk about it. But now that it's been well over a year, uh, I want to let everybody know exactly what were the details behind this shakedown. So I'm going to let you in on what actually happened during the shakedown of the motorcycle with Suzuki. Okay, so, but the recall was this. Um, when upshifting between first and second gear, if the rider fails to engage second gear and a neutral condition uh, occurs at very high RPMs, and if the rider tries to shift into second gear without engaging the clutch, because remember this is a, has a quick shifter on it, the motorcycle chain may stretch or break. Okay, well, yeah, that's the official recall, but today we're gonna talk about what really happened and what the shakedown was really all about, because I'm gonna let you in on a few things that I didn't reveal before. This is not the Bash Suzuki, they make a great motorcycle. I'm still really glad they t took the time to shake this motorcycle down. I'm glad they helped, asked me to help out. I still think they make a great product. But I just want to let you all know what really happened. So let's talk about that right now, okay? So back in 2017, uh, they came to Texas. I was one of a few that were selected in the United States of America to participate in the shakedown of this motorcycle, okay? And um, despite what the recall says, what really happened was they put a data logger on the motorcycle, okay? And I went out for three different rides on the same day. And what they wanted me to do was to use the quick shifter without the clutch, both upshifts and downshifts, and if it didn't properly shift from from whatever gear I was in to the, to, to the next gear I'm trying to go, go to, which let's say it was an upshift and I was in second and I'm trying to shift to third, they wanted to know if it didn't positively shift to, to third, or in other words it stayed in second, that the data logger would uh, make note of that. Now in addition to the data logger keeping track of what I was doing, they also wanted me to press, I think it was the mode button, I can't remember which button, but they wanted me to press a certain button on, button on the, one of the controls two times really fast. Because what that would do is send a signal to the data logger and they could easily uh, ascertain approximately when the bad shift happened. Okay? And the same thing on um, uh, downshifting without the clutch. Because remember, this quick shifter can also upshift and downshift. Okay? So, Sure enough, I'd go out for a ride, and, you know, guys, I live in Texas, and, and the rural, you know, the rural part of Texas, I don't live in a city, so a lot of open roads, and let's just say I put the hammer down, I'm not going to talk about speeds, but y'all, y'all know me, you know my, some of you know my YouTube channel, it's not hard to figure out how fast I was going, I wasn't going slow, let's just say that, and I went ahead and tested this quick shifter, and blip shifter, uh, on three different rides, and... I, by that time, I knew the motorcycle really well. I had ridden it for quite a while. And sure enough, the, you know, a, a miss shift would happen. Now, it wouldn't go into neutral. It was, it's rare for this motorcycle to have a false neutral. It does happen occasionally because all motorcycles got to deal with it, especially sports bikes. Okay. Um, but I don't usually quick shift too much from first to second. I, mean, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I do. But I don't quick. I don't blip shift from second to first. That's what I really want to say. I almost never blip shift from second to first. Okay. But anyway, getting back to the rides, the first ride I went out, I think it happened once or twice, over about a 15 or 20 minute ride. And of course, they took they downloaded the data log, data, they reset their data log or whatever they do because I, I didn't get a, I didn't get to stand there and watch what they did with the data logger because that's proprietary information and, and they didn't want me filming that. They really didn't want me filming any of it, but I did film some of it, um, you know, incidentally. It wasn't really uh, on purpose, but anyway. And then the second ride, pretty much the same thing happened. And the third ride, the same thing happened. Now, it was a cold day, a cold by Texas standards. If I remember right, it's like in the high 40s or low 50s. 
And uh, this condition occurred, not a lot, but enough to where they could log the data. Okay, so just to set the record straight, guys, they absolutely positively wanted to know if the quick shifter sensor and the computer were playing nice together. That is the bottom line. This really has not anything to do with if you get a false neutral and you're stupid enough to jam it in second without the clutch that you're going to break the chain. You know, only morons do that garbage. You know, I mean, if you have a false neutral, are you going to just jam it in second gear? No, I, I no, I'm not. Okay, anybody that does that, you need to have your your head checked. Okay, because you grab a handful of clutch. All right, bring the bike to a full stop. Clutch it all the way in, shift the second back to first, then go back to riding. Okay, that's what I always do if I have a false neutral. Okay, so I just wanted to give everybody the lowdown on what actually happened. The shakedown of this motorcycle was they were thoroughly collecting data on the quick shifter sensor, which remember it's just a sensor, right? Just a little a little electronic sensor that sends a signal to the computer. And they wanted to know the, the interaction between those two. So clearly the computer and the sensor weren't playing nice together and they needed to figure some things out. I don't really care if it was the sensor or the computer or both, a little, it doesn't really matter. The point is that's what they really wanted to know. They spent an exuberant amount of time trying to figure out why were customers with these motorcycles having a problem with the shifter and the computer registering the shifts? You know, some of you remember that sometimes when you'd go to blip shift, the bike would leap forward, right? I had one guy uh, send me a comment on YouTube, and he said that uh, his motorcycle lurched forward in a roundabout. Must, I think it was in England or somewhere in Europe, okay? And I've had that happen too. And I didn't lurch forward hard, but it like leaped forward a little bit because what happens with the, when you go to blip shift is, well, it blips the throttle a little bit, electronically, not mechanically, right? It blips that throttle a little bit, revs the engine for about three or 400 RPMs so that the downshift can occur. It unloads the gears, in other words. But if the shift doesn't happen, guess what? It just stays in the same gear and lurches the bike forward. You know, to a completely unexpected effect, right? That's not what you want. Obviously, you want a downshift. You, want to, you don't want the bike lurching forward. So they knew they had a problem on their hands, and they thoroughly investigated it. And I participated in this shakedown. They data logged it. They wanted to know for sure what was going on with this computer and the shifting sensor itself collectively working together what was going on. So that's exactly what happened with the recall on the 2017 Suzuki GSX-R uh, 1000R. I'm glad to hear they got it corrected. The 2018 bike is really good. And um, this is not me bashing Suzuki because I really love most of their products. And I'm not giving up my 2017 that's not happening. It's a great motorcycle. But I wanted to share that because um, I believe a lot of people did, didn't really understand that recall. So now you know. Okay, thanks for uh, listening to my video and watching my video today, guys and gals. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, just go ahead and click that Texas flag and uh, give me a thumbs up on this video. And we'll talk to you all again real soon. Bye-bye.